In less than three weeks, the Maryland General Assembly is going to wrap up its legislative session, and we decided to take a look at where things stand with some of the bills that could impact you and your family. WJZ Live in Annapolis for you at 5. Avajoy Burnett has much more on the key bills here, Avajoy, and what people are saying tonight. Hi, Nicole. Well, we decided to take a look at some of those hot button issues. For example, crime where you live or paid family leave or the legalization of recreational marijuana. And all of these bills are in different stages in the legislative process. But if they pass, they can mean different things for different people. Maryland lawmakers are furiously trying to pass whatever bills are still on their agenda. Let's start out with the issue of crime. Several bills are still being considered right now, like one to ban ghost guns. And another named after Officer Kiana Holly. If that bill passes, people convicted for the murder or attempted murder of a police officer will not be eligible for parole. I mean, Baltimore is really, really bad. We don't have a lot around here. But um, I think they need to crack down on the sentencing. You know, maybe if it's not too bad a crime, a lot of community service, something to try and make them sit up and take notice. On the issue of paid family leave, there's a bill that would provide up to 12 weeks leave, for example, for new parents or someone who is sick. The Senate has already passed that bill. Now the House is considering it. Yeah, they, they should get paid for family leave. I got a wife that worked 40 hours a week and sometime overtime. They don't even want to give her time off sometime. According to MarylandFamilyNetwork.org, only 17% of people in the U.S. have paid family leave, and that could force people to choose between job and family. And then there's the issue of legalizing recreational marijuana. Both the House and Senate are working through bills that would leave the ultimate decision up to you, the voter, come November. Actually, I'm kind of neutral on that. I mean, for medical purposes, absolutely. Um, otherwise, I'm just quite neutral on it. Drinking or marijuana to me is the same thing. If you do it in moderation and without any problems to the law, it's fine. And there is one bill that is already law. It's been signed, and that's because it's really popular. It's the 30 day gas tax holiday. And the state's comptroller, he's actually pushing to extend that beyond 30 days, but the ultimate decision is up to lawmakers here in Annapolis. There's another bill we know will not become law, and that is the ability to sell alcohol in grocery stores. Live tonight in Annapolis, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.